more energy in this one already. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Our theme song fucking bangs, dude. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Best of Five. This is a, hey guys. a very unique one today because... Uh, G's drunk. We had a meeting and uh, we drank too much. I want to see Chris is a little bit more drunk than I am. So. I'm always drunk, though. Like, my entire existence is just perpetually drunk. Chris, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you? <laughs> how was your week? <laughs> it's only once. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a good one. So instead of doing the whole St. Patrick's thing where we take a shot every other subject, we just got really drunk beforehand on yeah. accident, actually. And we're going to record this podcast. So It's fucking Heather's fault. Uh, damn it, Heather. With your ritz and shit. Ruts. Ruts. I, I think she likes the ritz. Yeah, maybe. Like the Carlton or like the, 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 the cracker? The cracker, probably. The cracker's awesome. Yeah, she doesn't like crackers too much if she's dating you. <clears throat> anyway, hey guys. I hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you guys so much for, for supporting this podcast. Again, please share it with all your friends and family and that grandma, grandma. you don't like. Uncle. <laughs> I think our, our bit was uncle. I mean, you I don't, don't know. you don't have to like your grandma, though. That's, that's Yeah, thing. it's very true. You don't have to like your grandma. So, it's just probability. Also, so here's the thing: is also we <laughs> when, while we recorded this, I'm actually hosting uh, trivia at Bricks. Afterwards, we're going to come over and record the DVD extra. Which, if you guys haven't checked out, please check out on our YouTube channel. And it's going to be probably way worse than what you think it's going to be. It's or fantastic. Better. So last week's episode, we got political for literally no reason at all. That's very true. <laughs> we love everybody, but you know, sometimes by political, I mean we. Hated on the Rockies for like 20 minutes. Yeah, we get sports political for sure. So, <laughs> but we won't keep you guys waiting. Let's start the first round. Yes, you are so you go first. You are shut the fuck up. Go first. Round one. All right, you guys. First up is going to be uh, best Spider Man and go Toby Maguire. And we're done. Really? Moving on. Round. Really, Tobey Maguire? Yeah, man, he had the fucking OG Spider Man. That doesn't mean he's the best Spider Man, man. One listen, in... listen. Andrew Garfield was actually awesome in the first movie. The second movie sucked, and then there was no third movie, which they were supposed to be. Right? I'm still gonna go with uh, Tom Holland. Honestly, he looks the part. He is like that quirky, like insecure person. But when it comes down to it, when he has to actually do something, he actually kills it. His American accent is awful. It's not that bad. It's it's not, not that bad, good, dude. It's not bad at all. Toby McGuire. It's still better than fucking uh, Doctor Strange's. One. What's his name? Better, Benedict Cumberbatch. Pink JC Biscuit, number one Spider Man. <laughs> Pink JC. I was gonna go with Great Gatsby, but <laughs> listen, I okay. I will say the Toby McGuire uh, trilogy is still the best one, mainly because <laughs> <laughs> the Amazing Spider Man doesn't have one. And I don't. Yeah, I, I haven't. The I trilogy haven't. Trilogy in general. I haven't seen the Spider Man, the new Spider Man trilogy as it is. But I will say that I think okay. that I think that that Peter Parker. When you think of Peter Parker, especially if you read the comics or just watch like even the TV series, like from the nineties, he was younger. Toby McGuire, Toby McGuire did not look that young in the first three movies. That's just how movies. He looks work. like he's thirty. That's how movies work, dude. It's like, oh, you're playing a high school student. Okay, you but, have to be like 32. No, Tom Holland has looked that age. Every single because he's been that age. He like got hired when he was exactly, like Exactly, so therefore he's the best Does one. It, okay, but his age makes him the best one. That's for fucking he looks ages, the, He bro. looks the part. He looks the part. Just, you're going to tell me you're going to have like Matthew Broderick right now, like work, like be like the new Spider-Man and be like, oh yeah, he looks the age because I believe in ageism. There's a thing to be said about like playing the part and looking the part for sure. And I think Tom Holland does both of those things very well. And also, he has probably the most, like, dramatic and, like, legitimate scene in any Avengers movie. When he died in Avengers uh, Infinity War, spoiler alert, by the yeah, way. Yeah, spoilers. It was actually, Idiot. like, very much like... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen fucking Infinity War, all I'm saying you're is a that, fucking yo, idiot. All I'm saying is that he he had the most like, oh shit, this is like it was a great performance. He had a great performance in that ending scene for sure. Reenactment. Toby McGuire looked like a little bitch when he's like <laughs> Mr. Stark. Why is this a thing right now? I don't feel that good. Oh, okay. All right. And scene. No, that was a lot better. And not as yeah, not, I'm not, not, not as, an actor. as uncomfortable, so yeah, no, I mean, so 
I think uh Rude. Okay, so if we're gonna go with best Spider Man, who's the best villain out of all the five uh not five, sorry. Four, five, Fucking six, seven, Doc seven. Doc Ock, bro. Doc Ock was pretty awesome. Which was in Spider Man Two, yeah. featuring Tobey Maguire. That might be the best Spider Man movie. That is the best Spider Man movie. But he's not. But it doesn't. Therefore, mean he's... no. Tobey Mick is the best Spider Man. Tobey Maguire as Spider Man is not a good Spider Man. Uh, Ramik, Ramik, is that his name? I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, the director from the Spider Man, the first two. Uh. Well, Fuck, whatever. What's his name? If it, it starts with an R, but I don't know. Whatever. He is the best director for Spider Man for sure. It's not Ramik. That's like Rami? Yeah, R- it's R- Rami. Yes. Is it Remy or Rami? Rami. It's Rami. But I, I think he, he, has, he, has the, he has the best director when it comes to Spider Man's for sure. But Tobey Maguire is just he's too much he, he went too much on like the soft side of like Spider Man. Yeah, because Spider Man's a pussy. I don't know. What I mean, you, a spider. Well, that's the thing is like Spider Man's character is just being a giant, like my giant big, so, pussy. Okay, so you, okay, so uh, Spider Man Far from Far from Home. There's Sorry, a, there's my, a point. my cords are tangled. Give me one second. There was a point where. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy keep this. Going, as much keep as we going. Keep going. I'm, I'm po- listening. There, there's I'm a listening. point in Spider Man Far from Home where he was just kind of like, well, I'm not sure if this is meant for like a friendly neighborhood Spider Man, which is like showing the like the like, not as like confidence person of peter parker yeah and samuel L. jackson's like bitch you've been to space and then he's just like oh yeah you're right i think like brings it back up i'm not saying like tom holland spider-man is shit also hold on hold on I'm before, before saying, you continue like, isn't it crazy that we're both agreeing that like andrew garfield was yeah not i like greatest. how we're like just like going around the fact that andrew garfield was some bullshit yeah that was pretty bad i don't know like the first it, one was pretty cool but he was too confident I think I think uh, I think to- I think Tobey Maguire as Spider Man was too, like, uh, and then so, a- Andrew Garfield was like, I'm hot and I'm Spider Man. So you guys know, that, well, the thing that pissed me off about Andrew Garfield is like he had that like skateboarding scene. Oh god! And man. he was like doing all these like skateboarding oh, the tricks, one? and I'm just like, dude, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, the basketball stop. one was the worst. Yeah. Um. But anyway, uh, there's this uh, YouTube video. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, definitely look it up. But it's like, if, uh, if, um, <laughs> s- stop. No, keep on going. I'm, I'm listening. Stop. If Tobey Maguire wasn't Spider-Man, and it was that lunchroom scene, you know, where he catches all the shit? Yeah. And it was him. Like, if Tobey Maguire wasn't Spider-Man or some shit like that, and then, it, like, uh, MJ slips, and then he goes to catch all the shit on the tray, but they... They edit it to where all the shit just bounces off. Oh, there's an actual video of that? Yeah. Oh, awesome. I want to watch that now. That's awesome. It's so stupid. Which is kind of cool. But but also, like, that is not actually CGI. That's actually a fun little trivia. He had, to, he had like, 180 takes to make that happen. 18. 118. Was it 818? Oh, that's what it was. Either way, that's still a lot of takes. No, but it it was legit. Like, he had more than 100 takes to make that happen. And they did every single time until he got it right. Yep. That's awesome. That's yeah. that's dedication. That's cool. I, I I respect that. I mean, I would respect. I still think that, that Tom I've, Holland is still I've... the best one. Not only, not only did he actually act like really good and like did a good Peter Parker, he actually like worked on like the the aerobics and like. I don't know, man. Spider Man One and Two are far better than Homecoming and Far From Home. No, Homecoming was awesome. Far From Home was really cool too. And <sighs> one I, and but, two but, but, are okay, still but, better but movies. Here's, here's the thing: is is the only reason why it's like that is because they're part of the MCU. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that's okay. that's like that scene in Civil War where he's oh, like Oh, when he comes in, dude. I'm the roof! And then he's like pitch, 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 and then yeah. That was pretty cool. That was pretty tight. And that's what I was like, that uh, was super like tight. Dude, honestly, that was the first time I was like <laughs> What G's trying to say is he came in his pants. No, I was just more excited that I almost did. But anyways, yeah, let, let nice. us know what you guys think. And when that is time. See what I mean? I literally <laughs> muted that. I thought that was. Oh, right. you forgot to mute that. Okay. Sorry. Cool. Round two. All right, Chris. Ready? Yep. Christopher, what's yes, the next subject? Yes, for... <laughs> What's the next subject, bro? <laughs> Round two is New Year's Eve resolutions. New Year's resolutions. All right. 
Yeah. Um, have you ever done one? <laughs> no, because I know myself and I know I'm a piece of shit, so I don't do whoa, any of those. Whoa. Whoa. It's fucking facts, dude. I don't give a fuck about a <laughs> lot of things. And I definitely don't give a fuck about New Year's Eve resolutions. But do you think it's necessary for some people? No. I think it is. No. No, man, listen. There, some people just trick is... themselves into thinking they're important. It's not they're even like, that. No, no, it's not even that. I, I think. Okay, cool. Just fuck my opinion because yeah, you're going to talk about it. I think you're wrong. I think <laughs> when, it, when it comes to New Year's resolutions. That was exaggerated. This is going to be such a hard podcast to edit, just letting you guys know. What it, it's not. What it means to uh, New, New Year's <laughs> resolutions, I think some people actually need that, like, this is the beginning of something like rotation wise. Right? It's like when people are like, all right, on Monday, I'm going to make this happen. It's like, why not make it happen today? I was like, because I'm already done with the week. So there is like those like sectional things that make it a thing. Okay. I think New Year's resolutions, if you stick to them are actually a really good thing. But the problem is that people don't stick to them. That's, that's the yeah, biggest problem. People suck, dude. I, don't know. I, I really have no opinion on this topic to be completely frank. That's fair. Because it's such a bullshit topic. So you've never had one, ever? No, never. Ever? Because I know myself too well. Oh, that's cute, I guess. Yeah, it's like, why would I make a, oh, I'm going to go work out every day Okay, so what's month. So what's, what's, a, what's like, a, no. What's a, like one logical like New, Year, New Year's resolution that you're just like, oh, okay, cool. Like, like good for logical? you. Logical? Like, like, not even for you, but just for like someone else to be like, hey, I'm going to do this Nothing. and that. Really? Nothing is logical. What if it's something as simple as like, hey, you know what? Like maybe maybe if someone's like, hey, I'm going to stop doing heroin. For New Year's resolution. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, would you support yeah, them good for, for that? you, man. Yeah, I would support the shit out of them. Would, you, be- would you believe that they're actually going to try? <laughs> no. I guess it depends on the person, Dude, right? Dude, heroin's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I've like, never had it, so I wouldn't be able to tell you, but. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> If people wanted to stop doing drugs, they'd stop doing drugs. Dude, it doesn't not, matter if it's I don't, New I don't, Year's or not. I honestly don't believe it's that easy, man. I think that. I, I agree. I don't think it's I think that the, easy. I think, the, ment- I think the mental, the mental aspect of that is. I mean, addiction is is a real thing. Don't get me wrong. Like this took real dark turn. No, it, it didn't though, because I think I think ultimately what the New Year's resolution is is like, you're trying to become better this year. So how do you make it happen? Which is why I'm all for it. But yeah, the problem yeah. is, is that like people give up on it so easily. And I think, honestly, I think there should be something to be said about making it a yearly thing, but also the thing, like, you start small and grow big as the year goes by, right? So something as okay. simple as, like, all right, cool, I'm not going to drink any pot for the, this year. That's a, a lot, a lot long easy. time to exactly. drink pot. But it's also, like, I think it's, like, six weeks until you, like, break a habit. So, like, all right, cool. Yeah, that's And then you're, right. like, cool, like, all right, so I'm going to stop drinking pot. All right, cool, I'm going to stop eating out. You know what I mean? Like, eating out. Like food? Yes, of course. What uh, else? I, was like, well, I eat out all the time. Oh. Nope. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, I no, don't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He is. It's either with me or not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, here's, here's the thing. The, the biggest thing about that, man, is that I, I do believe that there's a lot of people. I think most people in this world want to become better. Why right? are you, like, opening up to me? Because now? I'm getting real about this, man. Like, I think there's something to be said about people want to become better. And if they need that as a way to drive them, that's cool. But the problem is, is that they go too big. So it's like, I want to lose 50 pounds in three months. And you're just like, word, like, I'm not saying you can't yeah, do even that. Even if they like math that out, that doesn't even make sense. I feel like if you, if you, if Stop you. Stop touching. I feel like if you do that, it's, it's one of those things where. It's my microphone. Where you're, you have to like, the problem is there's not realistic goals, right? Yeah. They're never realistic, like ever. So I think we should change the evolution of like, what is like New Year's resolution to just something that's like, Hey, you know what? I'm going to try to say hi to every person I meet for the next three months. Yeah. Like you have to do easy shit. I'm going to completely fix what I just did. Cause I don't like it. I obviously. Yeah. Um, but no, I, sorry. Uh, eh. That was my bad. Uh, no, I agree. Um, like you have to make more realistic goals like a lot of people are like oh i'm gonna stop drinking soda you said pop because you're a fucking loser but it depends whatever. on what, what it is but that's yeah another, you're like i'm gonna stop drinking day. soda like for an entire year and i'm like no man it's not realistic because you've literally drank soda your entire life every single day let's let's like climb back on that i'm like i'm, I'm gonna a- drink one soda a day kind of thing instead of i'm gonna just completely cut it off and stop doing shit yeah man i mean uh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, that's yeah. You have to you have to step ladder it. Like you can end the goal 
as not drinking soda anymore. But you can't just like completely like cold turkey Yo, yourself. But also, because it's never going to work. But there's something it's to be said about those who've actually like done it every single time, right? Yeah, the fucking seven people. That's what I'm saying. Those like there's some people that have like a different dimension as to what's going on. Yeah, dude. There's people who fucking climbed Mount Everest like in fucking a speedo. Yeah, but that's you not can't that's not that's not that's, that's not that's not a you that's not a New Year's resolution. That's what I'm saying. It could be. You don't fucking. Know. I'm pretty sure it wasn't for them though. You're like I'm gonna climb Mount Everest this year and fucking my dick. I'm sure that took like years and years of training because that's uh, not maybe. something you just do right away. You don't away. know. I'm sure it's not like you don't fucking know. I'm sure that's not like oh three months from now I'm gonna climb Mount Everest you in a speedo. Don't fucking know. All right. So, yeah. And I just completely derailed that entire conversation with a minute left. I guess my biggest thing right now is just the motivation is is, uh, is a wonderful thing. But I think if you put a, a time limit to it, it makes it. Yeah, the time frame. It, ma- it makes it makes, it makes a disappointment way worse. <laughs> That's really what I'm trying to say, I guess. I wasn't expecting that. You no, know what I mean, I mean you're right. You're right, though. Like people make like very extreme goals and then their time frame <laughs> is so small it's like yeah i'm gonna stop drinking soda for like fucking so, eight hey, months right, and so, it's like oh you stop drinking soda for eight days so for example okay, like fucking so, let's be realistic bros i think okay here's where i'm gonna lead off with it i think that new year's resolutions are important but it depends on who it is i had yeah. a friend who was legit like i'm not gonna drink alcohol or smoke weed for the next month and now they're just like not doing it. I'm just like, dude, that's awesome. Like, dude, good yeah, for you. that's a realistic time frame. Yeah, yeah. They turn, they parlay that month into forever. Yeah. And so I think it's hard. It's like I think I think resolutions are <laughs> in, are important, but they shouldn't just be specifically to New Year's. Yeah, it's that's the main point. It's like everyone's doing it, right? So like, why they, I should join that? Yeah, as well. and it's like the whole Stupid. like I'm gonna work out for you know like the year. It's like yo, work out for fucking six weeks. Let's make it realistic, and then go from there. Yeah, and that's time. And that's hey. Time. If you guys have any like New Year's resolutions that you like, like either shot for the stars and like didn't reach, or those subtle ones that you did reach, let us know. Yeah, like I said, I don't make New Year's resolutions because I'm reali- I'm I'm a realist. He's used to disappointment, is what he's saying. <laughs> I'm a realist. I know he's who I am as a person. What's the, okay? So what and would, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this ath- like athletic build. Why are you going with weight though? That's that's not okay. You can just be like, hey, I'm going to read more. Or, hey, I'm going to spend more time with my family. Or, hey, I'm going to get a dog. And because that's like that's not 80, realistic. 80 to 90% <laughs> of people's that's like resolutions. Realistic. Yeah, I was trying to make it real to the people Relevant. listening, and you are just fucked it. Anyways, here's the next subject. Round three. All right, you guys, the next subject for this wonderful podcast, which I hope you guys enjoy, by the way. Is it, G? It is uh, unpopular opinions. <laughs> oh fuck! I can't. All right, I'm gonna start this off. I'm gonna start this off real quick. Ready? I can't do this one because that's literally every opinion I have. So my biggest unpopular opinions, and you you will agree with this with me on this one. Bet. The Star Wars pre trilogy is the best trilogy out of the out of the <laughs> entire trilogies. All right, you're right. I can't like you're you set me up to be like oh fucking Chris agrees with me I'm like elaborate no I don't elaborate why and then that's you're why like I'm, mm, I'm like <laughs> no no that's actually so I've been, I've been thinking about this because I know this is gonna come up I really do think that that's that's a legit legit statement yeah no the uh, prequels <laughs> prequels yeah prequels the Peter that's... quills anyways. So the prequels are actually the best ones because they have more backstory to them. If you watch the Clone Wars, and even read the comics, right? Like yeah, it's, in the books. I never read the books. I never read the comics either. But I didn't watch the Clone Wars, and actually made like it made me actually rewatch and be like, oh, that's why that happens, right? Yeah, no, the prequels are probably the best trilogy out of the three. Trilogies? Yeah, the worst trilogy is by far the newest one. I will oh, say that for sure, dude. Yeah. I mean, it goes in order, like. Original trilogy, better than prequels, but prequels are better than Skywalker trilogy. Is that what they call that one? The Skywalker saga is the entire oh, yeah. thing. Well, I thought they. Oh, is it the nine episodes? Yeah. This. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whatever. The new ones are fucking suck. But yeah, I actually enjoy them quite a bit, and I understand why people don't. But I also invested a lot of time in watching the Clone Wars to make me enjoy those, because I hated. I've always hated the droids for sure. That makes sense. And once yeah. you like watch them, like I, th- I think it's great. 
Um, but yeah, I, I will say that's my unpopular uh, unpopular opinion. Yeah, Chris, any? Uh, Twilight wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, you would say that, dude. I mean, we've it talked about Twilight bad. before, but I, I I mean, I've only watched one 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 movie, and I think it was to impress a girl, and I was like, this is fucking stupid, man. <sighs> This is what bothers me about Twilight. Make it quick. They made movies. That's Make fair. it quick. I have five minutes. Yeah, we don't want to hear Fuck about twi- you, Twilight for five minutes. Sir. We've already done that in this we, video above. We have already done that. You're not going to leave. I'm not going to do it either. Yeah. yeah. So it's. Fine. Um, <laughs> but no, Twilight. Make your case. Go. Mm. All right. So, Twilight. The books themselves were fine. And then the movies, I think, did a better job at narrating the overall idea. I don't know why you're staring at me like that. Because I'm listening to you. You don't like... It's fine. Um, But no, like... (laughs) What the fuck was that? Twilight wasn't that bad. (laughs) I I really want to defend this. You're just leaving it at that? But at the same time, it's like, Twilight was so bad. Uh, Okay, here's, here's, here's here's another one for me. The Beatles aren't the greatest band ever. I agree. Yeah. The Beatles are like Mac, dude. They're good. And they, they everybody they... loves iPhone and like yeah. Oh, but... you want to take it to that level? That's fine. Dude, I the don't Beatles care. are Macintosh. Listen, the in Beatles because the they have their Apple records. I mean, that's a <laughs> that's a cute uh, ha, <laughs> ha. But no, no listen, it's mostly because they're I, overrated I, and I love the Beatles. There's so many bands. And and I, that, I appreciate uh, the songs that uh, I enjoy uh, from like them. It. But their albums, like as a whole, are fucking trash. They have like three or four good songs, and then the rest of them are just like <laughs> three or the four. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, Twilight has three or four good books, dude. All right, what else is there? I don't know. I'm still stuck on Twilight. You're still stuck on Twilight. I, I literally don't want to talk about Twilight. Um, because I can rant about Twilight for like ten minutes. <laughs> Stephen Colbert as a night host is not that good. Yes. The or Col- late night, sorry. The late Colbert night. Report was much better. Way better. Trevor Noah's not as good so, as, yeah. as Jon Stewart, which is yeah, not, maybe not a popular opinion. Yeah, it's not a popular. Everybody knows is. that. Um, oh, man. there's It's there's, hard to think yeah. about this like, on the spot, but I think it's it's important. Uh, I mean, you got the Beatles suck, right? Thanos was right. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> correct. Jesus Christ. Is that unpopular? I'm pretty sure that's really unpopular. I, I see so many memes that are like, Show like, like it's like a TikTok, right? Also, maybe okay. and they show people doing stupid shit, and then like the little like tagline or whatever is so, like, the more I see, the more I think Thanos. Jesus right? Christ, yeah, those are yeah. really funny. Like the one I showed you the other day, it was like of this like group of like twenty two ish, maybe twenty three year olds that are like, this is me after this amount of mimosas. Okay, this here, is me good... after this amount of mimosas, and then like the end of the TikTok. The the original chick has no teeth because <laughs> they were fucking around and she like <laughs> fell over and knocked out all of her teeth. She fucked around and found out. She found out for sure um, that Eclipse is the best book. So yet the weirdest. God book. damn it, dude! Stop talking about fucking Twilight. Dude, I'm sorry, man. T-Bock and Biggie not... were not the best artists. The hip hop artists, uh, they're not the hip. They're not goats. Do you know my favorite take about Tupac is Kendrick is? I think Kendrick Lamar is the best rapper alive. Uh, my favorite take about Tupac is that he sold more T-shirts than albums. Because he's living in Jamaica, selling the bigger T-shirts. No, that was that was a Dave Long quote actually. Oh, it's like he makes better T-shirts than albums. I'm like, ooh, um, and, but he's right though. He makes way better T-shirts. Unpopular than opinion. Um, <laughs> oh, oh man. it's gonna be hard to edit because I'm sucking so much goop. The NFL is not that fun anymore. It hasn't been fun for no a long funneling time. No fun for sure. I think I think it really is. I lost interest in the NFL so quick. It's so stupid. Because the, um, the dude started kneeling oh for God. the national anthem, bro. And I'm just like, fuck the neck. We're never doing this again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Bob, come on. Give me, give me one more. You got one I, more. I, you're here? fucking... All my opinions are not one of his, Okay, one of his biggest ones that he mentioned in the last podcast is that Chick Fil A is not the best chicken sandwich. Yeah, fuck Chick Fil A. I think that's a pretty good, a popular opinion. Yeah, I really fuck Chick Fil A, dude. Chick Fil A um, sucks. I don't know. Like all my all my opinions are unpopular. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like one, but they're like, all like hella political. I'm trying to think so of like I'm one food. Like, co- oh, ah. yo, I think one of the big like food wise, like what are like restaurants everyone loves, and you're just like, dude, that's not that good. Buffalo Wild Wings. B Dubs is not that good. I agree with that. 
Um, it's just the the only like wing splice that like is consistent. How anything. Applebee's doesn't suck. Applebee's fucking sucks. Applebee's. At me, Alan. Oh, dude. At, at me. I fuck with some ABs, bro. He doesn't. I do. And that's time. God damn it. Let mm, us. That, that we miss. We miss. We miss a lot oh of unpopular opinions God. in this one. So please let us know what you guys' thoughts are. Give me some are. quesadilla, baby. On to the next one. Round four. So, G, skipping my turn. What's the next topic? All right, life after COVID. Oh my God. Which is funny to think about because <sighs> I think right now we're still we're still in in the midst of it. We're I'm probably at, I hope at the the the, the end tail of it. But, yeah, uh, I hope this is. But the God, last. I just don't know. I really don't. Um, because G got COVID October, I got COVID in in March, late March. Dude, it fucking sucks. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than it fucking is terrible. No, COVID. I mean, COVID people did were suck. like, also, people were like, yo, it's also just if you guys like, if you guys yeah. want if you guys want more insight as to our thoughts on COVID, uh, look at our our DVD extras that we released last week. Um, oh yeah, our DVD extras last. Yeah, week we went pretty hard on that fucking one. Fucking in the paint, but dude. The, so the biggest thing about COVID right now is that we are slowly, and even when this will be released, we're slowly transitioning into becoming more regular. Um, it's weird because I think that we, I've realized at least throughout this time that we are such a big country that we should be like four different countries. I legitimately That's believe fair. that. Um, because we're all like, well, we should do this and we should do that. And we have so many opinions towards like what other states are doing mm-hmm. and we should not be worried about that. Like I, like the fact that like Texas right now is like, oh, we have like a full stadium in Arlington. It's like, I'm not like, y'all, if y'all want to do that, that's cool. But also like, I don't agree with it, but also like who gives a <laughs> shit, right? Like, um, I think masks are going to, I, I kind of hope they're going to be, they'll stay at least for the rest of the year. I'm pretty sure masks going to be like a new normal i don't think there'll be a new norm i think i'm gonna wear a mask now for majority of the time i'm not gonna lie to you guys um yeah I, and that's the thing is like i think we have to get to a point where we respect that but we also don't but it's also one of those things it's like if enough people are not wearing masks and why should we wear them at all because like it's ca- it's counter react it's like counter working towards like people who are wearing masks who don't want to spread it yeah it's, i don't know it's man. against normalcy you know but, it, but at the same time, it's like, I think this is our new normal. You know what's crazy about what's going to happen after Which all is this? weird, but that's what it's going to be. Well, the crazy thing about this is going to be the fact that so much tension has come off of this. How long is that tension going to linger for the next oh, it's years? Gonna... Oh! All right. And we're back, you guys. Sorry about that. We uh, have a ghetto camera. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea what our rig is, but no it's idea, terrible. Anyway. It's probably going to happen again throughout this podcast. Oh, probably. Because why wouldn't it? Um, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, what was I, saying? There's, there's no like normalcy that's going to come out of this. Oh, no. no. Because so, our so, new normal is going to be wearing a mask. Oh, you know? <laughs> oh, it just moved again. Nailed it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, no. That's going to steal. <laughs> All right, cool. So no, but it's 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 also weird to think about. I think the the tension that we've had throughout this past year has just been not only has it been like bottled up in a lot of people, mm-hmm. but having this mm-hmm. pandemic really have you just be on this instead of like yeah, cuz you know, saying you've all these been things. on social media more than you've like seen people a person. Yeah, and so like having that like that curtain behind you, it really makes a huge difference. So I think the next couple of years are going to get a lot of people confidence to just say what the fuck they want to say. Yeah. Without I, really I without really having any action towards it. Yeah. And, and the problem with like social media is there's a lot of people that are saying shit that can't back it up because they're just so confident in what they're saying. And they're just like, oh, yeah, you're an MMA fighter. Well, I could fuck you up. And you're like, no, you can't, dude. What guess, the fuck are you talking there, about? There, there's something to be said about people who, again, who will talk and, and do this, this, and that on social media but not make any action towards it. I just yeah, dismiss all real. of that 100%. Um, what do you think about the idea of, like, 
the evolution of businesses because of all of this. So like, for example, here in Greeley, we have State Farm. Mm -hmm. They Mm -hmm. legitimately sold their entire building and be like, we're not going to use this anymore. We're doing everything at home. Yeah. I think that's going to be a thing more often than not. I think social interactions are going to be done from home and not in person. Yeah. yeah, And that scares the fuck out of me, dude. Like, the one thing that makes us human is the fact that we can socialize so well with anybody. Well, not with anybody, but with the majority of people. I I think the problem is, is like, a lot of people realize how much money they can save by not having people in person. Are you talking personal or business wise? Businesses. Gotcha. Yeah. Because, um, just my experience, like, you know, like my mom works for a, a giant radio station. Giant. 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 The biggest. The, Trust me, it's huge. I wish I could do a Biden impression to just counteract, but I, you I can't, can't do a Biden sell, impression. I can't sound that you old. You have to be like, um, so like um, you know, when you No no uh, this is okay, so this, and, this is what this uh, is, is what, my Biden this impression. This is what Biden does. He's like Thank you. Biden will be like people, children, men, women. Grandparents, uncles, aunts, they live. <laughs> like I watched, I watched. So I, I like throughout this whole week, I will be. I was that was that, fucking fantastic. Throughout this past week, I watched like presidential like announcements and this and that, just to kind of be like, what the like? How do you present yourself right? And the one thing that Biden does is he will like list a bunch of people and then just be like, they're all suffering from this pandemic, and you're just like, were were. <laughs> um, but anyway. Uh, what the fuck? Were we? Oh yeah, no, like businesses. Yeah, they they realize how much money they don't have to spend to have a building, and I think that's going to be huge for a lot of what I. For yeah, a lot I was of like, people. you want to make a no, no, for sure. A jo- I just hate no, it's not, it's not a joke. Um, but I think the I biggest, just saw your like little lip. No, no, joke. but the biggest thing about about this whole mm-hmm. thing too is that mm-hmm. it's it's going to make a lot of social businesses like bars. Uh, aquari- like you know, like these things that like, bring you people in aquariums. Yeah, aquariums. Because I was talking about earlier, it's gonna make people come out more often. So my hope, in a selfish way, is that summer is gonna be the best summer ever because we're just gonna be more willing to come out and have a good time. Yeah, I was I gonna sing so. the Phineas and Ferb theme song, but I forgot how it starts. And it's time. And yeah, and also this time, so it ruined my whole bit. I'm excited. I'm excited for after this. I think a lot of people are. You know who did the Phineas and Ferb? But it's gonna song? be really was crazy. Bowling for soup. Oh, really? Fact. Yeah. Get spin. That's not I bowling know. for <laughs> soup. Like, it was so good, right? No, it wasn't. Oh, that's a, I'm not a perfect. Yeah, that's oh, no, that, no, closer, so bowling, but it's still not right. Bowling for soup was, uh, she's watching wrestling, creaming over tough guys, listening to rap metal. That's actually them, too. So on to the next one. Bonus round. Christopher. What's, oh, I wasn't ready to start over. Christopher William You're not ready Arias. To start over. Christopher William Arias. Get the Red Bull of the shot. Christopher Bill Arias. Drink your Red Dude, Bull. Dude, hurry the fuck the up. Fuck God damn it. Shot. Chris, what's the next subject? The next subject is David Chappelle. I love Dave Chappelle. He's the GOAT. <laughs> you fucked that up twice. Oh fuck! <laughs> I don't know why my sleep got stuck. All right, there we go. All right, sorry. A and timer. now we're up. going. Dave Chappelle is the greatest comedian that's ever lived. Uh, I would say at least for our time, if you want to go yeah, that way. But I would say like he's really good. Um, but no, like I think we put this topic in the hat when the whole Chappelle show debacle was happening. And then the whole Chappelle yeah, this show. Is, this is one of those like topics that we put like when we first started this. Yeah, this is like fucking 30 Eight weeks months. ago. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. How many episodes do we have? 22. So it's going to be 23. This is going to be 20. Well, plus. Oh, yeah. No, 23. Yeah. Plus our time off. Plus four or whatever. Anyways. So it's been, it's been yeah. 30 weeks ago we put this in the hat. It's been way than 30 weeks. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it might have been 30. Actually, you're right. But anyway. So I think Chappelle is relevant now because he, he just grew up. Well, he protested like, oh, look, all these people are just selling the Chappelle show on Netflix and all this shit, but I'm not getting paid. And then everybody boycotted it. And then the CEO of Netflix oh, is no, like, dude, that's fuck. We're not going to have the Chappelle show anymore. I don't agree with that. I think Dave Chappelle's first stand up after coming back from the, the canceling of the Chappelle show 
it made him he 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 figured out the formula to make a real situation funny. So he yeah. like so like the first one I think the first uh ep- the first like stand up he had since he came back was about like the whole like, like OJ. the sticks and stones or whatever. No, no, this was the uh, live at LA. I think is what it is. Okay. Live in LA or whatever. Okay. And uh, he talks about like the first time I met OJ, like which is a very you know he's talking about like the, he talked about it, he's just kind of like remember those times like weren't those like great and amazing you know uh he kind of got into that and then he did he did like a few more the one that got to me was the one where he was talking about the pimp um who like he, he's talking about it in a sense of like the pimp had this ho- this this hoe or this this hooker who was like almost like the end of her line and then he like faked like a death of this guy who was supposed to sleep with her no so yeah so my yeah, thing is like i have no idea one thing that i realized is like one of my favorite ones is the one he he did in san francisco but like while he was in the Chappelle show he was talking about real issues and making them funny but still making them resonate with you the whole time and i think he realized like that comedy can actually send a message and like make a point to it mm-hmm. but also he also understood that like you had to still make some type of controversial thing to happen so like the whole transgender aspect that he has with it is fucking wild. And we talked about this before oh, in the podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. where he's just, you know, where he's just like making like jokes of like transgender people and people were getting upset about that. <laughs> but I think it's important to be able to be in the situation of struggle and drive and still be able to take like a funny joke towards it. That's not going to be like calling you something that's not okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like the fact that he's just like, there was this one time I was in a meeting and this, this guy, you know, this transgender woman, I came into the office and put her dick on the table it's like any questions or whatever, you know, and everyone got upset about that. It's just like, I get that you don't like that, but it's also like he's trying to like empower that more than anything by just making it funny for all of us. Because, I mean, how many times can we make fun of a white person and it's still funny, but then you make fun of a Mexican or a black I mean, person? You make and fun of a white person a lot. Yeah, <laughs> but also like I'm also very similar to making fun of like shit. Mexican people as well. Like I get that race is a very sensitive topic right now, but I, what I love about what he does is that he makes it funny and still be like grounded towards what's actually going on, mm-hmm. you know. And it's a, it's his opinion. Yeah, yeah. Like he's not saying and, he's and not a, he's it, not calling people like, you know, the f word, like you know, or people who are the LGBTQ community like f words or other words. Yeah, or you know what I mean. Yeah. Like he's not using like slurs to make the point, and I think I yeah. love that. About and I him. think the the reason we put this in the hat was because that he hosted uh, SNL at that time. Oh yeah, yeah. And <laughs> if you look back at his SNL like monologue, not a lot of people enjoyed that. <laughs> same thing with I mean, same thing. That's why we put Bill Burr in this. In the yeah, situation. it's the same same concept with Bill Burr, but we did Bill Burr a little earlier than. Yeah, he was Dave the first Chappelle? episode, yeah, actually. Yeah, th- yeah, he was. Or second one, maybe. But it's the same idea. It's the problem with people these days is they think that they are above being made fun of. I and, think. And when people make fun of them, like not people, but professional comedians make fun of them, like, oh, that's fucked up. But I'm like, yo, you wanted equality. What's what's that? And uh, now you're getting made fun of. That's the literal most equality I can think for anybody. What's the uh, the one he's talking about? The brittle spirit. I I don't know. I think it was it was about the 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 sitting up during the national anthem. Oh, okay. And yeah, he's like, yeah. that's a brittle spirit, and that's the very truth. I think a lot of us have that brittle spirit where we just want to like be this thing. I don't know. It, it's just it, it is really weird to me that that yeah. just like. Like, yeah, that is a brittle spirit, man. Like, lighten up a bit. Yeah. And, like, I don't think stand-up has gotten any worse in the last fucking four or five years or whatever. But I definitely think people have gotten softer. Yeah. that's that's I agree with that. And I I know this comedian. I forget his name. It's, like, Nate something Burleson? with a B. No, it's something with a B. Nate Burleson? But he doesn't curse. He doesn't do any controversial jokes in yeah. his stand up at all. Yet people are mad at him because he says things like that are against what they believe in. And it's like, yo, you were like one of like 30 people <laughs> that don't agree with this dude. Yeah. Like, why is your opinion more important? I don't know. I just soft, just soft, like the snowflakey people. Yeah, and, that's, so it, and it's so funny you can't even say that word so too. Much. But the yeah, thing is, you like, can't say snowflake anymore because no. people are like, "Oh, they're the but the left liberals or whatever." I'm like, "No, it's but, the right too." 
But I think the biggest thing is if you really want to see Dave Chappelle at his best, watch his uh, uh, Washington or the Kennedy Center Honors thing on Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good because he talks about as to why he the does com- the process. The comedy awards or whatever? Oh, no. Where it was, he got it, the no, Lifetime it was, Achievement? No, it was the... Uh, no, it was the uh, um, he got an award that night, though. Who's, right? that, who's that That guy who wrote Hel- Huckleberry Finn? Um, <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Uh, I can see his face, too. This is going to piss me off so much. Um, we'll just insert it after post. <laughs> Yeah, that guy. Um, Huckleberry <laughs> Finn. Uh, oh, you guys are going to be so mad at this because you guys, this is like one thing you should know. But yeah, yeah. You know, he was talking about it. He's like, I think if you can't talk about what you really want to talk about, that's going to make this world better, then you shouldn't talk about it at all. Yeah. So, and that's time. It is time. All right. Let's move on. Let's go. Final round. Oh, dude, make it quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, Chris. Mm-hmm. All right, Chris. I'm ready. Nope. Now I'm ready. All right, Chris. Wow, you said that like you've said it three times in a row, waiting for me to stop peeing. Chris, what's the next subject? The next subject is streaming services. If you got all streaming services, you're paying more than cable than you, than streaming services. Yeah, that's fucked up though. Like. <laughs> There's if so get, many, dude. If you get There's all the too streaming many. services, you pay more than cable, but it's still better than cable. Because you can choose when you want to watch anything. Exactly. It's stupid. Cable nah, is stupid. I, I, got rid of, I, got, I got rid of Netflix like four months ago, and I'm so happy. I'm actually like trying you to- You got like, rid of Netflix? I did. Yeah. And honestly, I'm, mm. only keep, I'm only keeping the ones that are free mm. through like some type of like plan, which I'm sure they're mm. not free at that point, but- um, So what G's pretty much saying is he's cheap as fuck. Yep. I'm broke. That's what I, it is. I love Netflix, dude. I can't agree with you on that one, dude. I fucking love Netflix. I think once I got rid of The Office, that was always my go-to. And then I was just like, I don't have to watch Fuck this again. Fuck The Office. Dude, going on fucking controversial opinions or whatever. Fuck The Office, dude. Unpopular that show, opinions? Unpopular opinions. Dude, that fucking show is terrible. That's, That's probably one of the worst sitcoms I've ever watched in my entire life. So, Parks and Rec is the exact same show. It's not the same same exact show. It's but not, funnier. It's not. It's better. I will say it's that. It's better. But it's not the same exact it's show. It's the same concept. It's you like, know, oh, hey we're Chris. a fake hey real Chris. life thing. Hey, Chris. I'm talking. Don't interrupt me, Jay. It's okay to be wrong, man. I'm never wrong. He's wrong. I thought I was but, wrong once, but I was no, mistaken. So, I mean, Netflix was like cool because they started everything off, but they just got so bland with me. I just like, I don't have to watch any of this. It's fine. Do you watch Kung Fu movies? No. No, well, there's your problem. Um, Do you watch foreign films? Yeah, every once in a while. Mm, it seems like the answer was no. Um, and there's your problem. So right now, we're at, what I stick with is just like HBO, Disney, and Hulu. And even then, I don't like watching any of that. Like right now, I'm on a Band of Brothers kicking gun. I love that show. <laughs> Band of Brothers was an okay show for sure. It was great, man. It's such a I good don't know show. I'm hiccuping all of a sudden. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going. We're going to edit this out. Or not. I know. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't know. Like, there's not really like one that I really like want to stick with. Uh, but God, dude. Jesus, dude, do you want to punch in the nuts? Sick. <laughs> <laughs> I think that <laughs> I think that helped actually. Uh, but no, it, it is one of those things where like I hate that we are resorting towards doing that mm-hmm. because it it makes you be less productive in this life. I guess, man. Because like, at least with cable, you're just like, there's nothing really that's good that's on. Hey, you want to go play kickball? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm nec- also thinking like I a teenager, but you know, yeah, I don't agree with that because like, I don't know. Like, I can't talk a lot of shit about it. But I've been watching um, Stargate. Oh God! For the last fucking I don't know, way like too long. Four months. Way too long. It's ten seasons. It's a lot. Way too long. But. Stargate isn't the greatest TV show of all time. It's the worst. But at the same time, it like it the stimulates. Office is better than Stargate. No, it's not. It Get is. the fuck out of it here is, with that, dude. We'll make a vote. 
I yeah, let's mine. make a poll. Which is better, Stargate or The Office? Mine's and better. if you guys vote The Office, I swear to God, I'm fucking quitting. It's okay to be wrong, man. Just letting you know. But no, like I've been watching Stargate a lot, and I like it because it's you know fucking Stargate. It's what it is. But it's been helping create my uh, or stimulate my creativity here's on the, a lot of things. Here's the problem with uh, streaming services, man. Honestly, is the fact that you can't like you you overanalyze everything and you can't just enjoy the fucking series. I really think That's that you. Dude, I really think I that streaming know. services are going to be the downfall of just entertainment because you guys are, we're so expecting so much high of it that it just ruins everything. I.e. fucking WandaVision. Everyone hated it. I'm just like, dude, don't think that much about it. Nobody hated WandaVision. Everyone hated what the, the ending. Fuck are and you it's talking? just like, yo, doggy, like, don't worry yeah, about it. Because the ending was terrible. Because of all these expectations and fan theories. Yeah, it doesn't matter that it because people expected but, okay, one thing but I will say and this, it ended this but way. But I will say this the ending was the, still in op- terrible. In the opposite spectrum of things, I actually enjoyed the first three Star Wars because of Disney Plus. So there's that. All right, you know I what I mean? Uh, like, I can't so like I, I, on that, I get man. that it's like back and forth for sure, but like there is something to be said about like, yo, this is too much, or like, <laughs> oh my god, I just like I remember when like I first got like HBO Go, which is now HBO Max. Mm-hmm. I legit binge watched the Game of Thrones like within a month, which means that I was like sitting up until four in the How morning, many times you jack watching Game like Thrones, four though? or five like episodes in one day, and that's like five hours of my time that just went wasted and, and sleeping or productive shit. We're becoming less yeah, productive because of streaming services because it's just Disagree. right there. Disagree. There's something to be said about like Disagree. back in the day when you're just like, oh my God, we had to stop what we're doing and watch this for an hour and then we're done. Like there was a schedule to it. Now it's just kind of like, Disagree. oh bro, we can just like sit down and just watch like everything and catch up in one fucking day. And they're just like, nothing been, nothing's been so done. So my, my main. It's a new addiction, man. Yeah, well, my main like uh, opposition to that is like, okay, cool. You're going to go see a new movie. That just came out in the theater. What's your plan? You know, you go out to dinner. Yeah. You know, you go to the movie theater. How long is the movie? Three-ish hours? Cool. Yeah. With the addition of going out to dinner? Yeah. That's like five hours of your time. Exactly. But it's five hours with someone that you're like, hey, let's actually go do something. Instead of just being at home being like, oh, I can just watch the next episode. Or let me just find this out. Let me just do this. Let me just do that. It's not, dude. There's a lot of people that do that. People spend five hours fucking off. With other people, too. I'm just saying, man. Like, I'd rather fuck up with other people than just fuck off on myself. Mm. Well, and that's time. It's not. So but it, it's time. It's not. We're still talking about this. No, it's definitely time. Okay, it's time. Hey, you guys. Thank you guys so much, so much for so much, so much. Oh, we might just... We, we should probably just take shots as we're doing this. Instead of get really tracked beforehand because I'm, I'm struggling. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you guys had a wonderful time with this. If you guys, I know, hope you had an okay time with this because think, you know because I'm the, I'm the optimist. He's the pessimistic. Money. It's okay. What the fuck do you just call me? Pessimistic. Oh, uh, okay. I thought you called me like a, a vegetarian parasite? or whatever. A you Mexican? know, where you only eat fish. I called you know. Mexican. <laughs> wow. We're pretty fun. We're pretty fun people. Anyways, you guys have a good night. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. I don't understand why you're still just and we'll talk to you guys talking soon. so much shit about me. I don't understand why. Oh, well, here's here the emotional side just... of it, Chris. Can't see his mouth, but it's okay. Yeah, sit back like this to nope. talk shit about you. All right, you guys. Have a good night. Yeah, don't have a good night. Jeez, Bye. So-